Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director. Now, many of the tools in Power Director are out in the open and obvious and in obvious places. But some of the coolest things about the program are things that are sometimes sort of tucked away or are in a not so obvious place. You're aware, of course, of each of the rooms up here, the effects room and the particle room, the video overlay or the PIP room title room. But what you may not be aware of is that rooms like the media room actually have sub rooms underneath them. So the most common use of the media room, of course, is that you gather all of your media that you're going to use in your project into the media room, you import it into your project, and then you drag it on down to the timeline from there. But if you go to this little drop down menu at the top left of the media room, you'll find out there are actually several media rooms actually inside the media room that have some pretty cool things in them. Color boards includes a number of backgrounds, and you can see that there are a number of RGB combinations in there. Uh, these are great for if you have a title and you just want to put the title over a colored background, or if you're using a picture in picture of your video, you can include a nice background behind it. Now, if these don't meet your needs, you can of course create your own simply by going over here to the create a new color board button. And if you select that, you can then create any color you want, mix up any color you want, and it will be added permanently here to the library. Another one of the media sub rooms is the background images room. Now, which version I believe of PowerDirector you have will determine what backgrounds you have. And these are very nice for slideshows. Uh, these are very nice for titles. You can have titles over these backgrounds. Uh, you can use these backgrounds also Again, if you want to inset or use uh, your, your video as a picture in picture, these are very nice and you can have several videos actually as picture in pictures over any of these backgrounds. There is background music and I really, really love this feature here. Uh, these are all free tracks that are included with the program and you can see they come in a variety of categories or variety of genres. Everything here from country, orchestral, pop, rock, uh, world music, and some of these are holiday themed, some of these are great for wedding backgrounds, and some of these if you want some royalty free music. And now royalty free music means you can use it anywhere you want, you can use it on YouTube, it's never going to be censored, it's included, your license to use it is included with the program. So all of these are royalty free tracks, and you can see some of them need to be downloaded the first time you use them, but once you download them they become a permanent part of your library on your hard drive. There are also sound clips, and this is a large library of sound effects. Look at these unusual things. Beer drinking, really? A bicycle horn? Camera clicks? Cicadas? Explosions? Elephants? Gunfights? Helicopters? A lot of really, really cool sound effects, and you can use those too in any context, in any situation. This drop-down menu also includes My Projects, which will show you all of your past projects as if they were video clips. And as you know, and as, and as we've explored in other tutorials, you can actually use a project as is without rendering it. You can use it as media in another project. So I could grab any one of these if this was, say, for instance, um, well, this is a two minute video that I've edited and it's saved under the name Florida, I could just drag this down to my timeline and use it as if it were a two minute long media clip. We like said we look at that more deeply in another tutorial. And then express projects and express projects are again, another tutorial all themselves, but they're pretty cool because they're templates that you drop your own media into that include special effects. They include titles. Uh, I believe some of them include music and then uh, you take the Express Projects, you drop it on your timeline or the template on your timeline, and then just randomly grab your media into it, and it generates a movie for you, complete with the music and the uh, sound effects and the titles already added to it. So pretty cool. A lot buried in there. Most people never get past the front page, but there's a lot of cool stuff in that media room. There's a lot of cool stuff, in fact, everywhere in this program. It is one of the most feature-packed consumer programs I know of. A lot of really cool stuff in here. If you want to know all about these features, check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate, check out my book, the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. It is available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you soon.